All right, I am Lyman Dukes. Uh, I am uh, faculty in the College of Education. Carla Kometz Morris, manager of instructional design for online learning. Uh, together, we're, we've conducted a couple of studies. One we've completed, one we're in the process of doing, the one that's done is called Closed Captioning Matters. Uh, it's based upon principles of universal design for learning. Uh, UDL uh, is its acronym. Uh, for those that aren't familiar, the idea is that you plan in advance for, di for diversity in uh, the courses in which you teach, whether they be online or face-to-face, -face, uh, and try to proactively prepare for a diverse array of students in your classroom. Uh, there is a committee on campus that actually does this, and our charge uh, is, on the whole, uh, to improve uh, access to online learning for all of our students. Uh, this particular project uh, was intended to look at the quality and access of online instruction, and uh, we were fortunate enough to get a little bit of funding when we brought uh, the idea forward to those that control the purse strings here on campus uh, and indicated to them that there was case law out there that was beginning to develop around online instruction and the captioning of online videos in particular. Uh, ultimately, uh, this is all about using a proactive approach to uh, course, desi course design and development. We want to plan in advance uh, to ensure that our content and the people in which the students interact with in the classroom uh, that, that it's all sort of done in advance and not done after the fact. Many of you have probably had students with disabilities that come to you and uh, you may have to accommodate them after the fact and we're trying to plan for that in advance. And along the lines of universal design, um, what we were hoping we would find when we were looking into the institutional improvement was that captioning would benefit all students, not just students with disabilities and so that that would help um, uh, prove that we should be doing this in our courses. So this particular study, what we did, we, we tried to find two large online courses and then two faculty members that were amenable to participating. Uh, Intro to Psych and Business Law 1, a lot of uh, student enrollment online. Previously, they had run the courses without captioning and they were willing to caption them in a following semester so that we could make comparisons. Uh, ultimately, those comparisons showed that student achievement improved and student evaluations improved, in particular in the areas of uh, communication of ideas, student concern, facilitation of learning, and then uh, uh, overall evaluation of the faculty member. So these are things, if I were a faculty member, I'd be particularly interested in. Uh, we also did some qualitative work uh, in which we asked, some, asked the students some questions. They said overwhelmingly that they appreciated this, uh, and the faculty did as well. So in terms of the amount of participants we had, we had 241 students across both classes that participated. Um, you'll see through this graph that an overwhelming amount, 87% of those students were students without disabilities, but 13% of students in the courses did have disabilities, of only which uh, only 6% were registered with the Student with Disability Services Office. And this is a really important um, point we wanted to make. Um, uh, if not more, than half of those students with disabilities were not registered. They didn't feel the need to come forward to the Student Disability Services Office and identify themselves as having a disability and request accommodations. So when you're thinking about accessibility and making accommodations for students, about half of the students that we have in the course were not identified through that office. Um, the findings that we had through the um, survey that we asked of students um, were some specific things that they identified. They identified that the captions helped with clarifying uh, what faculty members were saying, if the audio track was a little bit hard to understand or if they spoke fast. Um, it helped with comprehension of the content, helped them with spelling key terms, especially legal jargon um, and psychological disorders, those types of technical terms that were in those courses. It helped a lot with their note taking, and it also, they said that they felt it helped with their academic achievement in the course. Um, they felt that they had received a better grade in the course um, with the captions than they would have if they didn't have the captions available. And the faculty benefits that were reported were the improvements in the student evaluations that uh, Lyman mentioned. Um, and they also said that their students anecdotally came up to them quite a bit and said, well, we really appreciated having this. Thank you so much for caring about it. Um, and so that was uh, nice for them to hear as well. Um, real quick, three things that have come out of this. Um, as a result of that project, we did receive approval to use distance learning funding to caption courses. So um, now we have a process where if the course is going through Quality Matters Review, we make sure that it receives closed captioning. And we also caption courses that um, faculty have requested specifically to receive captioning. Um, 
based on, on budget that we have available. I don't know if you heard, we got cut. <laughs> um, captioning policy at the university is coming down that's saying that all digital media used in face-to-face -face and online courses in the whole system has to be captioned. So the fact that we have this data and the procedures in place to help us get there um, gives our campus a huge advantage. Um, and the committee itself um, is looking into more research into interactive transcripts. So this is a feature um, like closed captioning that offers a searchable transcript below the video um, <coughs> that we think may help with um, uh, study aids and things like that. And so we're in the process of looking at how students are using that and the reported benefits on that as well. And that is it. Sorry, trying to do that really fast. <laughs> Any questions?